Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the new song from Alexa called Back in Vogue. It's been a while since Alexa's done a Korean comeback, I think it was early 22, I want to say like early, like proper early, January, February time, something like that with Tattoo. Since then, I think it's what most of the year she's spent in America doing the song contest over there, it's based on like the Eurovision song contest, but it was States of America. She represented Alabama from where she's from and uh, won that quite convincingly and her stages were super cool and you forget until you see her on stage with other people around how goddamn tiny she is tiny adorable cute powerhouse so let's see what back in vogue is all about quite a uh, intense looking uh, thumbnail here let's go i can't remember if that's like the end of tattoo i'm sure there was like a door opening and she stepped through for that Mm. Quite funky. Big band jazzy. A little bit dreamy in the breakdown. Mm. It's pretty catchy. I'm digging the funkiness. Oop. Didn't screen the shoes out. Digging this sort of beat with a piano. It's cool. Cool little voice. Hmm. It's kind of catchy. Trying to remember if this does fit in with the story narrative she has. I think it might. Hmm. It's such a cool sound. I like it. Oh. We're getting a storyline ending. She is cute, isn't she? Hmm. I feel I need to catch up in the Alexa verse. So I'm sure the end of Tattoo ended with a door either opening or her going through it, which started off this thing, which almost felt a little bit like um, Doctor Strange and um, the beginning of the new Doctor Strange. Uh, what was it? The one with Scarlet Witch. It was shit. It was a shit film. You don't need to watch it. Anyway, I like it. I like the funkiness of it. It's it's kind of a timeless style, adding funkin, but it's got like a cool like R&B bass, like a bit of a hip hop bass going on, and adding piano to it. I just don't know why, but I always like that blend, that mashup style. But really cool. Zany Bros always do really cool music videos, even though like I might not have the sky high budgets of like SM, JYP, or YG. They always do really good videos, which is probably why they started off as like a video house, but. I like her. I like Alexa. I like the storyline that she's got going on. I feel like I need to brush up on where everything was going. Because it was like, I'm sure it was coming around to the fact that 
either she's an AI or there's an AI copy of her somewhere and there's different times like past and present future stuff going on but I like it I do like thorough threads going through all different songs and genres we've had it with G friend theirs were going from beginning right up until there on the hiatus we were dream catchers doing stories based within trilogies now rather than going all the way through but it's cool it's good to see her back I'm sure the stages will be real good she's a fantastic little performer uh, cool voice she can hit some big notes some big sweet high notes but like stage wise when she's dancing and you know got all the dancers around her really good production like I do look forward to watching the stages so I'm sure there'll be a couple of them out because the song was released three days ago and I, I thought I was a little late on this but yes I look forward to seeing them because I'm sure there'll be a show out by now so let me know your thoughts below on this if you have any idea on the storyline of how it's going and where this ties in please let me know because I feel like I'm not very I'm not super versed in the Alexa verse I feel like I know the outskirts of it maybe little fragments of it here and there so yes thanks for watching like share subscribe do all the algorithm stuff drop the links in the descriptions for ways to follow me and support the channel i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye